Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Meyer Studio Sketch Club. Let's see, we got a little new format here, so still getting used to everything. Studio's laid out a little bit different. Sitting in a different place. Got different stuff going on. All, all good, but a little disorienting. And it was like over a hundred here today, so my house is still baking a little bit. So pardon my exposing you to my muscular physique, but uh, the weather kind of demands it. The weather demands it. So Miss Shakti and Ellie, good to see both of you. So tonight I thought what we might do is continue our lesson from last night, but instead of being abstract, I, I didn't want to show you reference last night, so you could just really see to the degree which which we want to get this form because that's really what makes it but I gave almost zero thought to actually drawing meaning to you know how big small wide all of that I was more really on process yesterday so tonight what I'd like to do is fine-tune that just a little bit and let's go ahead and see if we can't push this towards a portrait of Ellie. Again, don't be too concerned with making it look exactly like her. What you're gonna see me do is instead, I'm gonna make sure that we have places for her eye socket, the end of the nose. So from our major mass of the head, then like our big features would be the eye sockets, the nose, and then the mouth and not the lips but that form okay cheeks and so what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna push this stuff around working in the process that I showed you yesterday but again try to get more to a portrait live on air 30 minutes that's a lot to ask so I don't know how exact we'll get but again, this isn't about getting an exact portrait of Ellie, but it's about showing you how you take this abstract idea and work in this process towards a very specific end. Now, anytime you draw or anything like that, it always takes great concentration and usually a good deal of training and time. So more than, again, making it feel specifically by, about Ellie, I want this to feel like a human eye sockets, nose, right? Those big structures. Once that gets in there, then again, we can refine down to those particular structures into Ellie. As you get better and be better, what'll happen is these big structures that you put in, the size and a little bit of the particulars are gonna be more accurate sooner. Okay, when you start, it, you know, sometimes it feels like mapping and stuff but make sure you're mapping the right thing. You know, we're not making a subway map or something. Form, space, visibility, movement. All right, what do you guys say we get ready? Get ready, I hope everybody else didn't melt. Oof, it was well over 100 here today. And uh, everybody might be just fanning themselves with the iced tea right now. So let's switch over to our mode. We'll get our camera up. We'll put some reference on tonight. Where did our reference go? There she is. And simply for your viewing pleasure. So I did a little preliminary work with smudging before we got on. Again, just to kind of quote unquote map some of this big stuff out. But this again is very similar how I work. Right now, this is the most permanent thing on the paper. So what I'd like to do is then work off of that, get the tilt of the eyes. Remember there's a slight tilt and let's get this brow ridge in there okay so we're coming 
out. Then we're gonna go back with the brow ridge. We'll come out with the cheek and even more out with the nose. Then the nose is gonna cut back in before the mouth we come out. We tuck under in the mouth, then we have the chin. So we've got all these subforms now happening on this big form. And the other thing as I do this, I noticed my drawing was way off. I'm gonna have to move the neck here. When I do that, that's gonna make us way too wide. So we're gonna to have to cut in. But this is a normal process. And what'll happen is if you do this right, you're gonna build up a patina as these things move and shift a little bit. And that's part of what's gonna make it interesting. Okay, so some vine charcoal. Let's try to find our way. So if we think this is here, and then if I come down to the eye, this is almost midway. down, cutting under, are we going, make sure we don't lose our big pieces, our big directions, but this doesn't go back, it does go back like that, but what, what happens, what, ha that nose intersects, the nose intersects right there, so we don't see the full effect like we see that. And again, this doesn't go, it turns the corner a little bit. Did we go dead? No, we didn't. We snuck up too far. So what happens is you get into these details, you can lose the big relations. Uh, those feel a little close to that highlight. All right, let's have another go at it. So what if we... See how you can feel your way through and then where does that nose end? Like it doesn't look like much is happening, but we've got to make room for that part of the nose. So the nose is gonna go up, over, and then back around. Now that's way too big right now. been having the habit of getting her nose too short. I'm going to try to stretch it. Yeah, I think it's probably down here. Feels better. And from there, we're coming out, right? Going around. Turning around. Right, those are some of those big forms, but we don't want to do it in line. We want to do it. So what does that mean? So under a shadow, 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 this side of shadow, this side of shadow, shadow, shadow. Maybe we gotta close that. Again, let's just leave that there. Real clumsy and let, let's see how we've done. I have a feeling we're gonna have to keep squeezing and stretching a little bit. But let's do that lightly. Let's do that lightly. So 
So we have our highlights up here. We're going to come down. Then we have an eyebrow. I'm going to point us in here. And then the eyebrow is going to end, and we're going to get a pinch of the nose, probably down into here. And then we're going to have a hard edge. here it's all round and then if we go across Again, this this needs to be shorter. So what part of what's happening here is I've got this length too wide. So I'm gonna have to push that in. Because this side needs to be smaller than that side. Right? So that's about the same size, but what we want is this one larger. And then that one's smaller, it's turned around. It's just the nature of how those forms work. All right, and then that nose. If I see that space to me, I feel like we need more space to the tip. Right, it just doesn't feel right. That goes that way. This will go this way. Is that nose too short again? Maybe, but part of it is that's too wide. So let's make some marks here. see if we see what's going on if we're anywhere close So now are we adding forms on top of this form? So again, too many, think, too many things to think about for me to go back and go back step by step for this process, especially when we're drawing. But that's there yesterday evening if you need it. We went a little bit more in depth. Hey, look how sketchy. I've been going 10 minutes and it's so sketchy. And you remember what we did yesterday when we started here? What did we do? Then we went in and we wiped a lot of it out, didn't we? Did we decide the side's going to be air? The side's going to be air, but I think, I think, I think, I think we're going to be going like that a little bit more, opening up there.
So it's not a big deal, you just move it. You just move it. So that hair, that dark hair actually comes from here, where, just above the highlight. Where is it? Right above the dark of the eye, basically. And it's going to come down. All right, getting in the artist's brain, getting in the artist's brain. So it's going to get harder to entertain as the concentration demand gets higher. But again, all I'm doing here is saying I'm going to move this boundary right over here. So I've just literally grabbed that dark shape and pulled it this way. Here too, this is. Right, she's not round, right? There's, there's more angle. So what I'm doing is rather, oh, that doesn't look like Ellie. I'm like, what's different? Well, it's not this wide. It's compressed. So what am I doing with my shapes? I'm compressing them. I'm, I'm trying to stretch a little bit. Okay, so it really is like a stretch and a pull. Bring that down even further, maybe. Pull that down a little bit. Right, we want to make sure Ellie looks like she has teeth. So how do we do that? We make room for them. Right, this, 
this approach is really about making room for the things to sit in. And by us applying the room where it's gonna live, rather than just going from thing to thing to thing, there's more spaciousness there, right? And so our ideas and our drawings are literally about things different than, more than, Sometimes it's just if it looks right, but look, we don't get the edge of our hair on yet. Does that already feel a little bit better? I think it's also gonna feel better when we cut it down over here, right? So you wanna see the relationships. These relationships, how are we doing on time? 10 minutes, okay, I told you I was gonna show you how these things look. So let's start. Get to work, Jason. Get to work. All right, all right, all right. Gosh. You guys are mean. You guys are mean. All right. Focus, focus, focus. So, again, let's bring all of our darks out of this dark. And you gotta design these shapes. They don't just happen. Starting to close in a little bit, a little bit. I don't know, Jason, I don't know. It doesn't look like her. And don't be too concerned right now. Don't be too concerned. I feel like that cuts in. The ear's too high. The ear's too high. Did you guys see that? You drop the nose, that relationship changes. I ain't worried about it. You worried about it? I ain't worried about it. I ain't mad at you. All right, now what are we gonna do with this big mass of mess that we've created over here? Well, let's think about it. Now you got nine minutes to think about it, Jason. Think fast, all right. Let's let this light escape.
You know, sometimes you can be way off. And that's the importance of starting slow because you've got to be accurate, but you also want to be descriptive, meaning you want to see these forms coming in and out. So if I set up my big things, then I can push and pull them without worrying. This is how I suggest students start with this technique. It's like literally think about just pulling that dark up to there. All right, and then our hair will disappear all in there. Ellie, where are you? Is Ellie going to come out? I think we can get Ellie out of this. Well, I don't know. 30 minutes. I don't know if we would pull Ellie out of it, but we're going to have interesting marks, which as far as art is concerned, and it looks like a human. All right. Again, the specifics of the person you know, you wanted about something a little more universal. More universal. We need to pull that chin down. That's the other part of this. All right? Give room for that mouth. And that chin will come more down like that. And then so that's going to change this reflected light that we work so hard. But again, it's not a big deal. Why? Because... We're just working these flat shapes. Well, what's happening to these flat shapes is they're getting more interesting. Ah, oh, five minutes, five minutes, woof. All right, so let's see. So there's soft edges here. Soft edges here. We wanna make sure those top planes come forward. We got the cheeks large enough. Top of the nose. over here. Boom. A bit softer. Our edges for the finish. Got a little enthusiastic there. We'll clean that up in a minute. Clean that up in the minute. Now that we've got a mouth, Gonna have a lower lip, which is gonna face out, catch a little light, be a forward, a top facing plane, the same direction as these. And then we'll go in, and then we've got another top plane with the chin. air. How are we doing? Three minutes. So if that's our new chin, our core shadow. And now that's the chin. We've got to come over here, don't we? Right? And that's a form and then let's kick out.
top lip, face is under. All right, let's see. One minute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Go down so that comes up. Eight seconds, eight seconds. That's not fair. That ain't fair. All right, so we can't leave her like this. That's just, that's abusive. That's abusive. We don't want to do that. So let's let's see if we can't kind of smooth things over a little bit before we go so that uh, it's not so awkward the next time we meet her. Oof. But the good news is let's go up far enough to come out. So we're going to push that up. Oh, we got air here. That's going to help differentiate some stuff. And we didn't get quite a chance to work on those shapes. But Corners, get a highlight. Not all corners, not all corners. All right, well, a little bit rough, but come on. That's a lot to ask in a short period of time. We haven't got to soften our edges. But hopefully you guys see that you see it doesn't become stiff, but it is a bit harder getting the drawing here and kind of rushing on this eye. I don't think I did anything any favors, right? But if you slow down a little bit more than I did, 
Might take the time, don't get that quite so far. You know what? Maybe. A little bit like that might help a little bit. All right. How did you guys do tonight? Did that make any sense to everybody? Did, could you follow along? Again, I had somebody say to me today, it's all about just slowing down. Yeah. Yeah. And then seeing that can we carry this light kind of through this. Why saying hair? But we've got to know how to soften these edges, how to take our front planes. away from our side planes, and all of that jazz. All right, look, that's kind of a small chin, isn't it? I didn't get back to the chin, did I? Didn't get back to the chin, okay. Now what does this mean? Look where my neck is. So now, do I need to adjust? The answer is yeah. The answer is yeah. But not tonight. That's going to do it for tonight. <clears throat> Thank you guys for uh, bearing the heat and seeing some of this. Let's see if we can't make this presentable in the next couple of seconds. And I hope it's making more and more sense to you, Mike. Racers like just melted. I think it's still in the 90s here. No air over 100. Oof. Oof. A little slower day. A little bit of a slower day. All right, so we're going to be doing more and more of this and getting more. You see that form happening, but I've just got the proportions off. Boom. There we go. Here comes Ellie. Here comes Ellie. Getting a little rough. Come on, half an hour? Teaching, live streaming, pressing buttons. All right. Maybe I'll work on this and show you where it comes up, or uh, maybe we start over. Don't know. All right, everybody. Um, how about some button pressing here? We'll get rid of that. Go off air. Thank you, Ellie. So thank you guys for joining us. That'll be it for Sketch Club this week. We'll be back Sunday night. Um, <clears throat> this Friday, we've been doing color mixing all week. I'm going to be demonstrating this in painting in the school on Friday. Um, <clears throat> if you've got an account in the school or if you sign up for a free account, we'll go ahead and open that up to the public. There'll be no questions. You'll just be watching a demo. It'll be from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on our online school. So make sure to check out our website, check the school out, get an online account, and uh, you'll get a free painting demo this Friday morning. All right, Shakti, Ellie, thank you guys. Ellie, a model, an artist, what don't you do? What don't you do? You do it all. Miss Susan, ah, sorry I missed you, but glad you're okay, worried about you at the heat, but uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon. All right, Cindy's got the school site, but as we roll out of here, we'll uh, put that up and let you guys take a look at it. Good night, everybody. Thank you.